Good morning everyone. This is Lenovo V110, one of the old one. So recently we upgraded SSD from HDD and we need to reinstall Windows. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, you need to take a SIM ejector or paper clip. And if you go through the right side, we can see there are two holes, one of them for headphone, another one for Nova button. So Nova button is the special button that Lenovo included to get into recovery mode, boot options, and BIOS settings. As you can see, there are a few options. So we're gonna get into BIOS setup to change USB boot setup for this machine. By the way, this machine takes both UEFI and Legacy. Today, I'm gonna cover up both of them. and I'm, I'm gonna show you which settings that you need if you wanna follow legacy environment setup or UEFI. So this is information on the left hand side. You can see all the machine details and we're going to use only the arrow keys enter to get things sorted. The trackpad wouldn't work because this is quite old model. So if I press on right arrow, I can see configuration. From here, there is one option called USB legacy. So USB legacy, we have to keep it enabled if you'd like to get the setup done in legacy environment. If you want in EUFI, we have to disable it. This is always opposite of each other, okay? So I'm gonna keep it enabled, why? Because I wanna keep in legacy environment. Then let's go to security. There is one option as you can see the TPM, Intel, platform trust technology this one has to be disabled as i said if you want legacy and if you want uefi you have to make it enable simple as that and now we're going to go to the last option which is called boot option okay so let's go to boot option by right arrow that's the one and here are a couple of options we need to change as you can see the first boot mode if you want legacy, legacy. If you want UEFI, then UEFI. Boot priority also has to go with it. So I'm going to do legacy first. And then USB boot, of course, it has to be enabled. And don't worry about the boot priority. Because that should be fine because we can each time go to Nobo button menu and select it. Okay. By the way, if you want in UEFI, let me show you what you need to do. You need to go to UEFI first. And this one, you can keep it enable. And this one as well. There is one more thing that we need to do. If you want EVFI, we need to choose from configuration section, USB legacy. We need to make it disabled if you want in EVFI. I hope you understand, guys. It's quite simple. If you want UEFI, everything for legacy has to be disabled. Then automatically it's get enabled for rest of the things. So we're going to save the changes. And system would restart. Because of we have chosen the actual USB as a fast boot. So it should start up from there. If it doesn't, don't worry. What we can do, we can get into Noble button menu and choose it manually. So as you can see, this is the setup page. We're going to click on next. And that would take a little bit of time to get the setup started. It's loading up everything from the bootable Windows installer USB stick. We need to accept the terms and condition to go forward. And then from here, there are two sections. We're going to choose the bottom one. As you can see, there is single partition. We're going to hit next and boom. Everything would be done now. It might take 10 to 15 minutes. Press the windows, control, and enter keys at the same time to turn on air. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Set to 
Okay. So finally everything has done, it's working perfectly, as you can see. Still if you do have any question, leave it in the comment section and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.